Christian and Emmy, we're gathered here today to celebrate your marriage. On this day of July 18, 2021, you have chosen to seal your love together through spoken words, prayers, and the sharing of symbols. I want to thank you for always being that person I can always talk to. I want to thank you for your friendship. Thank you for showing me love when I was needy. Thank you for your corny jokes, your delicious cooking, and being such a helpful partner. I don't always tell you this, but I am truly happy that you chose me because in the end, I'll always choose you. Christian, I vow to be your best friend that you can lean on. Someone that will grow with you through the toughest times and bestest times. I vow to be your partner in all things and cherish your heart through it all. I'll walk alongside you as long as I live. I vow to choose to love you every day and never give up. I thank God for blessing me with you. I love you forever. To me to see you through Every winter and you summer Burning red or blue Emmy, what more can I say than I love you? Words that are, that I say to you every day, words that capture so little. Today is different. Today I want to say how beautiful you are. I want to say how caring, how forgiving, and how loving you are. I mean, you are the most beautiful person in this world, and then I never tell you enough. You're so caring to me and our sons every single day. We make sure that we have everything that we need, and more. I want to say how forgiving you are. I've made many mistakes, and every time you've forgiven me and given me many of chances. Most importantly, the amount of love that you give to me and our sons make our world. Your love gives me strength every day to work hard and come home safely to you. Your love is something I never want to lose. I remember like it was yesterday, the day I knew I wanted to be with you. For those who don't know this, Emmy and I were anything more than just best friends. We got to know a lot about each other without judging, helped each other when we could, and just listened to each other's problems. But on a very specific day in the month of April, I had an emotion that I could not explain. Feelings I've never really felt for anyone before, an urge that I could not contain except by having you in my life. Inhibition, I've become quite sure that I love you the more. I'm very glad that when the time came, I took my chance to make you mine because I don't regret it one bit. Though it's been 12 years, 12 long years together, we finally reached another chapter in our lives, marriage. I promise to you, Emmy, to love and care and respect you. I promise to never give you reason to distrust me. 
I promise to never make you feel unwanted ever again. I promise to continue to love you for the rest of my life. And I promise to treat you with respect and to honor you. To talk things over before making big decisions, even small ones. I promise to work out any problems or dispute that may come to us and I promise to do my best for you and our family. I promise to make time for God and to make Heavenly Father the center of our marriage. Without Heavenly Father, you and I would not be standing here today. I love you so much. So I put my hesitations on the shelf Cause this is what I choose This will be the easiest thing if I let it And I can't be too afraid to fall Now by the power vested in me by the great state of Hawaii I now pronounce you husband and wife Christian, you may kiss your breath. I know of love like this doesn't come around every day And I just can't bring myself to give up right now Not this way Cause I love you and I wanna hold you when we're old and gray Oh, but love like this don't come around, don't come around every day You can have my heart. Oh, I know a love like this doesn't come around. I'm Emmy's cousin, but we're literally like sisters. But throughout the years, Christian has been annoying me and caring for me like an older brother would. I've known Christian since I was still in middle school. I still remember the day when Emmy told me about her dream of Christian and I told her that you guys would end up being boyfriend and girlfriend. Every day. Fast forward 11 years later and now they're married with two crazy but loving kids. Oh, every day. is a couple I look up to. I hope God stays in the center of their new journey as newlyweds and is filled with love, patience, kindness, and gratitude. Can we all raise our glasses up? Cheers to Emmy and Christian. Christian just two months apart uh, basically my brother you know there we literally fought argue we laugh at jokes that we only think that's one to us um, even though Chris was the older cousin I watched his back like he was my younger brother yeah young boy There's really nothing more I need to say because we all know Chris is willing to help out anyone with anything. So, uh, Emmy, you take care of my brother. <laughs> like he uh, taking care of me my whole life. <laughs> Welcome to the family. We 
like to thank you guys all for coming today on this Sunday, July 18, 2021. Taking time off to celebrate the wedding of Emmy and I. It's been a long awaited time. Just want to thank you all for being here to celebrate this special moment with us. I greatly appreciate your presence here. We greatly appreciate your presence here. Thank you guys. We got an insomniac with eyes wide shut And we got everything we need and then a little too much I know that you're starving for something you can't touch Would you be honest with me right now? There's something in the undercurrent I can feel it coming up Don't you wanna feel it? Taking over your senses Don't you ever feel Fences. Baby, come escape with me I'll come sweep you off of your feet Don't you wanna feel it? Don't you wanna? Don't you wanna? Think there's something in my bag That's weighing me down Oh, it's just the weight of the world Now I'm calling it out We're a little starving For some lightning love Can we speak honestly right now? Don't you ever fear it? Technological fan.